way of, you know, a father, a stepfather, a family should mesh. Just speak to, you know, them all being up in the stands, high-fiving, cheering you on, being, you know, one happy family. You know, um, a lot a lot of people, families wouldn't be able to, to, to mesh the way that, that they did. And when my, when my biological father got out of jail, I mean, it was just, and initially it was kind of just like, okay, well, let's kind of see how, the, how this plays out. And, you know, it was, didn't skip a step. Everybody just kind of like, okay, this is, this is biological father. And the time that they need to spend or the time that they need to make up and let them, let them do what they need to do as far as make up time. But as, as far as what I had going on in my everyday life, I was still doing the same things, uh, football, basketball, track, whatever it was, still doing everything I did, extracurricular activities after school. Still did my, my things at, at Catholic as far as any clubs and the things that I did. So um, it wasn't just over the top me just being, you know, dismissal of the, my, my family who I lived with. It was just kind of having somebody else come in my corner with support. So that was the, that was the biggest thing. Uh, there's a lot of guys on the team that are having seasons that probably people didn't expect. You're one of them. Did you, did you expect it? Oh, yeah, no doubt I expected it. And it's. It's, all, it's been like that every year I've played football. It's, let's see what this, this small guy can do as far as football. And then it's like, oh my gosh, he's, he's actually good. And I'm just like, I mean, I'm not like I told you so, but it's just like, I mean, I knew what I can do. Um, the people in my corner knew what I can do. Uh, the people who, who, who watched me grow up and since I was younger, um, you know, I initially wasn't supposed to play football because my mom thought I was too small. And now, I mean, she's she's my biggest, you know, number. She's my number one supporter. And ever since that point, since I touched the ball, first touch in, in Pee Wee League, it was a toss sweep to the right. You can call one of my Pee Wee coaches; he'll tell you the same thing. Toss sweep to the right, 80 yard touchdown. High school first touch, you know, took the punt to the house. I mean, it's just always just oh, he's so. It's, we're not expecting it, but then when I do it, it's it's like okay. Some of us expected, and then some of us was in his corner already. It's, it's just, you know, I pray about it every day, and 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 let I let God do His thing, and now I'm here. Are you at all surprised that the, the spin move is still as effective as it is? Um, I'm not quite surprised. I'm I'm not surprised about it at all. It's it's all based off leverage and the things that I see on the field, and whenever it comes to play, I do it. It's it's usually just off instinct, but I mean, it's working, and a lot of the times you can see. Moves working for guys from Pee Wee all the way up to the league. Uh, Darius with the stiff arm. Uh, Coach Retita posted something on Twitter. Darius doing the stiff arm and taking it, you know, 60 plus yards. And then uh, saw another video of him stiff arming a guy from Notre Dame. And then, you know, yesterday him doing his thing, watching him do his thing again, the stiff arm. So uh, the, way, the way certain guys run, you can tell that, okay, this is their running style and whatever they do works for them because this is their game. So. I'm not. It's, it's something I've I've been doing, uh, but you know it's it's kind of being displayed on a, on a bigger on a bigger screen now. So it's it's coming to coming to attention for a lot of folks. Well, Coach Roman was talking this morning about practice and the way that it's changed up this year as far as giving y'all days off, sometimes time off to to go. How have you seen that play and work for you this year? Uh, for the most part, I mean, it's it's just about health. Um, you know, health is wealth. Health is. Health is helping this helping this team, you know, get get to get to the spots that we need to be. Um, you know, prime example, I'll say uh, Grant last week not playing and then balling this weekend. It's just you know, it's, it's coach Coach O understanding health is is a big thing and and if guys are healthy, then we make plays and that's what we need. We need our playmakers to make plays and this is that's what this that's what this team and this culture is all about. Did that play, did that play out in fall camp where because uh, sometimes. A couple of backs there. It seemed like some guys were off or whatever else. Would that kind of like you know, save your legs a little bit? Oh yeah, no doubt. And you know, everybody knows. You know, college fall camp is you know it's the it's the real deal. And especially you know with with, with NCAA rules and everything else, like everybody kind of saw that players need to take breaks. That's why they didn't do the, the big on two a days. They kind of just so I mean overall you can tell just let's not tear these kids' bodies up. Um, you know, before the season and everything else, and then Coach O, you know, he took it to heart. If 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 guys need breaks, and you know, we had the day we went bowling, like that was a that was a big break day. Uh, it was something that we needed, and then it's kind of like a refresher. It's not just for the body; it's for the mind also. So being able to being able to clear your mind and, and do the things that you need to do, you can go out on the field and execute. Mm -hmm. 
Um, it means the world. I mean, especially, you know, being in the SEC championship is something, it's something that everybody in that locker room wanted. It's something that the coaching staff wanted. It's, it's what you came to, it's, it's what a lot of guys came to LSU to do to win the SEC championship. And for me, it's, you know, it's something special, especially being from here. Um, you know, knowing the last time we were in the SEC championship, it was it were, it were those guys, and you know we're everybody's ready to play. Um, you know we played them last year, but that was last year. They're a different team. We're a different team. Everybody's ready for the the, the challenge of this week, and everybody's ready to hit it head on. Back what to is the, the uh, what is the kind of I guess benefit for recruiting or guys behind you of your role this year and your stats? I know LSU's gotten so much pub for the passing game because they haven't passed it a ton previously, but LSU's always run the ball well. The fact that there's still kind of a major role for a running back in this offense, kind of what's the, the benefit of that, or, or what have you seen? It, how big your roles become? It makes, now it makes LSU the it school. Um, everybody, everybody wants to come, no matter if you are a top receiver or a top running back. It's not just, oh, all they do is run the ball, so you know we're only going to try to get the top running backs. So all they do is throw the ball. Now you get you get versatile athletes, you get you get athletes all over the field. You get everybody wanting to come to LSU to the point to where you have to tell some players, you know, some high school students no. Um, and that's what you want, man. You want you want to be able to to have coaches to be able to pick who guys guys that they want. Um, and ultimately you want kids to be able to pick the school that they want to go to. But I mean when 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 you do the things that, that you do in the running game as far as you know, a lot of uh, in the beginning of the year, it was they can't run the ball. All they do is pass, and then, you know, as the year went on, now you're starting to see more running back recruits coming in, and that's because we're able to run the ball. And that's something, you know, it's something that they were seeing because of of media. Media was saying, okay, we can't run the ball, but the whole time everybody in this building knew that we can run the ball. So, um, you know, when 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 media gets this play the way it was, um, you know, it, it it was hurting recruiting for our state and. Now the pretty much players had to take take over, and now we're running the ball. Offensive line, they they're doing an amazing job, and it's showing that we can do whatever we want to do on the field as long as we have the players. Clyde, up. Uh, back to the Alabama game. If I could just wrap a few things into one. Yes, sir. Nick Saban referred to you said you're a kick returner, <coughs> you're not a running back. Uh, Twenty million people watching you play maybe the game of your life in that game, and then you know your father that was. Your, your real father, that was the first time a lot of people saw him, and he, he said he never wanted to draw attention to himself. I just, that day and that experience and your motivation, just if you can speak to it. Um, that day is, that day is surreal. It's, you know, just from the moment, the moment we woke up, just, it's just everything. It's everything just felt, just felt defined and, and, and magnetized uh, for some reason, didn't know why. Um, you know, and, and naturally you'll say, okay, this just that's just the game. We're playing Bama and everything else, but it it didn't it didn't feel like any other day where I wake up and you know I hop out to bed, you know, take a shower and do the whole. Everything just felt like it was in slow motion from the moment I woke up, and from that point um, all the way down throughout the game to the end of the game, seeing my dad, um, I know he didn't want to be you know in the spotlight. Like, it was just him being him. That's just who he is. Um, I know the rest of my family were in the stands. I know they felt the same way. Uh, if I could have had all of them around me, you know, that would have been that would have been ideal. But just him being the way he is, and and the talks that we've had beforehand, and everything that I've expressed to him, the things that he's he he's expressed to me, um, him being a, a you know him playing at Baker High in his day and 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 balling and doing the things that he did, and you know him getting caught up in, in the situation he did, but me him being able to see. Me live out my dream, and I mean that's all he wanted. He he didn't want anything from it. He just wants me to be happy. My family just wants me to be happy, and for the most part, that game that game pretty much you know turned the coin, and, and everything's starting to work out.